Whose coronation is that? There's a bunch of rapists down here. I get out my fucking shotgun or something. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I did. What is this place? Tail. G for glow stick. Yeah, that's simple enough. Oh, what's that? Flare. Seems exciting enough. And a steel rod. And another flare. And a hammer. Let's see, I can swing the hammer. Blah, 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 blah. Dark, okay, I can't see very well. That's my very shitty excuse. I'm supposed to find another way in. I have the gamma turned up a little bit because YouTube really makes my footage dark. Where something pops out of nowhere, I'm going to like bitch slap somebody. So there's something there, and I think something just caved in.
Speakers are such assholes. It's all my brother's fault. My brother is an asshole. It is working fine now. Yay! This looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate. I feel so special. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote Arc Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets. The emergency services are at the end of the phone line. Health and safety in the workplace. Friends. Family. Lovers. All there if something fucks up. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers, blah 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 blah. We're too scared, we're too far away. I don't like this. I can't get me down here. The roads are all with actors and carriages. I'm not taking any chances about this. I can't see anything. This is caution and stuff, but my only defense is my health. Well, I've played a lot of stealth games in my time, so I should be good. If anyone, or anything, hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources. Yes, the blue is good. Our best is hard. Looks like sparklies. Balls. Balls. Oh yeah, big sweet like that. Like that'll be virtually invisible. Not for some time. She got high vision. Provided I stay still. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm used to the sanity in the darkness, so I suppose this is kind of different. And I want to remember where I've been, because if I don't, then I am probably screwed. that these things save you. That's kind of loud. I should probably turn the bass down on these speakers. Yeah, it's way down. It's pretty weird. I can't get to it. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, but still I know this man before me is Howard. I call him Father. One time I called my dad Frank, just for the hell of it. Fifteenth of August, 1945. Command bunker. Emergency air sent Zulu. 
weekly report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received, standard emergency drills carried out, routine runway maintenance completed. I wanted maintenance to be carried out twice a week and making me do the increase in the One wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two fine men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workship slash armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take partial responsibility for this, and that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom, and I'm sure that's where they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up that manual in the chest in my office, and will keep the, the key on my person. Needless to say, this is a very fucking long packet, but I think I should read it. And the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. The base is so disconnected sometimes. I feel as if this war could end, and we might not even hear about it out here. Supplies for position order. Dynamite for 